You know it's 2024 and we often hear how far we have come as a society. We love to pat ourselves on the back and talk about how much progress we have made, especially when it comes to women's rights. But there's something we need to talk about which is the invisible barrier that still exists for women in workspace. Yes, I'm talking about the glass ceiling. Now let's be honest. It's no secret that women have been breaking stereotypes and barriers for decades. They're earning degrees, holding leadership positions, and making strides in every sector but here's the question are they truly given the same opportunities as men the harsh reality is that women even in high positions face inequality daily they work twice as hard for half the recognition and no this isn't about women not being good enough this is about systems that are still biased against them consciously or unconsciously Women are constantly told if you work hard you'll succeed but success for many women comes at the cost of their mental health their family life and in many cases their dignity they get talked over in meetings their ideas get attributed to their male colleagues and let's not forget the old classic you are too emotional to lead imagine telling that to a man and then there's the infamous glass ceiling it's invisible but it's there Women can see the opportunities above them but something is always blocking them from reaching that top position they are often deemed not assertive enough or too soft to lead but here's the twist when they do become assertive they are called bossy arrogant or even worse unfeminine and let's not forget the balancing act that women are expected to perform to be successful at work but don't let your career interfere with your family be a leader but don't be too ambitious it's a lose lose situation no matter how you spin it Oh and how can we discuss workplace issues without touching on harassment the hashtag me too movement may have shed light on it but let's be real sexual harassment in the workplace is far from over many women still face inappropriate comments subtle threats or worse but they are too afraid to speak up why because they fear losing their jobs being branded as trouble makers or having their careers ruined It's not just sexual harassment either there's gender discrimination where women are passed over for promotions given fewer opportunities or denied opportunities to lead all because of their gender how often have we heard this role requires a man's presence to command respect really are we still using that excuse Another thing we never talk about is how women are subtly penalized for having families. I mean a woman announces her pregnancy and suddenly people question her commitment to the job. Promotions are delayed, responsibilities are taken away and many are indirectly pushed out of their roles. Is penalizing women for something as natural as starting a family fair? Shouldn't the workplace be more accommodating? Meanwhile, men aren't questioned about their parenting responsibilities. No one asks them if their job will suffer because they have kids. It's these small unspoken biases that continue to chip away at women's confidence and career progression. And here's something I don't think we ever talk about. How women often face discrimination because of their menstrual cycles. It's a natural part of life yet women in the workplace are sometimes judged or sidelined for needing a break or taking a day off during tough days many push through severe discomfort because they fear being labeled unprofessional but let's face it if we can accommodate other health issues why is this different women should feel comfortable acknowledging their needs without judgment it's time we foster a more understanding work culture where biology isn't held against someone so what do we do about all this first we need to recognize that these issues still exist just because we don't talk about them doesn't mean they have magically disappeared we need to encourage open conversations in the workplace implement policies that support gender equality and most importantly we need to stop judging women based on outdated societal norms I won't stop talking about this until we see real change not just in policies but in people's mindsets because when we change our mindsets that's when society truly evolves this isn't just a woman's issue it's a societal issue and we can't afford to ignore it any longer